Hi guys! Welcome back to your second tutorial on how to create music with the JMusic library. Now, from last time when we imported the library, we did that to use some of the classes in there so we can create the music in our Java project very easily. So if we just expand the jar file in here, we can see there are many, many packages. So if we just go ahead and expand some of the packages, you can see there are many other classes, all that we can use for our project. So for instance, if we want to create a new node in our project, you can see that there is a class called node in the jm.music.data package. So if we expand that, there's the node class. And to use that node class or to use that node in our project, we have to import that first. So if we just go above our class, we can say import jm, which is for jmusic, dot music dot data and then of course the class so dot data dot note and now we've basically imported that note into our project and we can use it in our class so if we just go to our class let's create the main method so all we have to say is public static void main string square brackets arcs curly braces open enter and so this is where our program is going to start. And in there, I just want to create a new note. And to do that, we just have to say new note, color braces, semicolon. So that's how you create a new note. And if we just go ahead and play that or run that program. <gasps> uh, okay, nothing happened. Well, uh, the way it works, so when we created the new note, it doesn't play the note. It's like the sheet you get from the note. So if you have a sheet of music, nothing happens, right? You just need a piano player who plays that music for you. So now we just need to get the piano player from our J Music library in order to play our note. And so our piano player is in the jm.util package. And in there, there's a class called play. So let's just go ahead and import the play class. So let's just go ahead and uh, right below our import jm.music.data.note, type in import jm.util.play. And if we go up to our main method again, uh, we just can say play.midi. And then in brackets, just type in new note and then brackets and then outside of all the brackets just put a semicolon in there again so that basically just says go get a piano player and play that what's in the braces and in the braces you can see there's the new note and then we can delete that note up there again and if we run that program this time oh man Beautiful, beautiful, yeah. <laughs> so that's how you create new notes and let it play. So yeah, I think I'll just stop it right there. I want to keep those little tutorials short and quick. Hope that was helpful and the next time we'll see how we can manipulate the notes. So give it different pitches, set the length, set the strength, set everything for the note. But for now, I'll just leave it like that. Thanks for watching, bye.